Thank you, Mr. Presiding Officer. Um, on uh, the 20th of this month, um, there will be a Briar Lake Forest uh, Park work day at 9.30 a.m. It should be quite a um, happy occasion as, uh, again, Briar Lake Forest uh, was recently awarded a $50,000 Park Pride uh, grant to um, be able to add to funds uh, contributed by districts two and seven um, to create, uh, to convert uh, the historic structure there into a pavilion and add restrooms to that site, a real capstone investment on Briar Lake Forest Park. Um, I also wanted to um, recognize that yesterday I was able to authorize, uh, or I was able to offer testimony to a subcommittee of the House Governmental Affairs Committee in support of Mary Margaret Oliver's um, annexation and importantly uh, tax abatement uh, amendments to uh, existing law. Um, the uh, annexation amendments strengthen the participation of the uh, school system and uh, in increase uh, notification of potential tax abatements that are involved with an annexation uh, petition. And um, in the case of House Bill 66, it provides statutory standing to all taxing authorities in uh, validation hearings for uh, tax abatements. Uh, the purpose of uh, that in particular is simple, that uh, boards uh, duly elected by the public whose tax revenues are affected by a tax abatement should have standing to challenge those tax abatements before the courts that validate the necessary financial instruments that uh, implement tax abatements. Um, the, uh, the item uh, has not been voted yet, so uh, citizens who are interested in those protections should certainly contact the House Governmental Affairs Committee and let your um, thoughts and wishes be known. Um, so uh, we're hopeful that uh, those improvements can be made. Thanks, I yield.